Pranam to all. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Happy Holi to all of you. Bhaganvalias can exhibit a dazzling show of color. The color range of these Bhaganvalias are wide. They include deep red, golden orange, purple, light pink and white. And in our garden, my mom has almost all of them. Bhaganvalia growing is really easy and it is a really low maintenance plant. But still, some of us have a problem that a Bhaganvalia plant does not bloom at all. Normally, Bhaganvalias bloom on new growth. The heaviest flowering occurs in winter and early spring. But in our garden, the Bhaganvalia plants flower all through the year. This is the health of a Bhaganvalia plant after winter season. So keep on watching to know how my mom gets some blooms on these plants. First of all, what my mom is doing is collecting all of the mature leaves. My mom is trying to give some stress to the plant. The reason your Bhaganvalia plant is not blooming is because Bhaganvalia plants love sun. So when it is grown in the shade, the plant will live and grow but rarely bloom. For maximum flower production, these plants need full sun and well-drained soils. Also, do not overwater in them. Make sure to give minimum water. Water once per week. This would provide too much water for Bhaganvalia to bloom well. Now, the next reason can be because the soil pH level is not maintained. Make sure to know that this plant loves acidic soil. So make sure to keep on watching to see what fertilizer my mom gives and how she maintains the soil pH level. Here my mom is giving mustard seed powder which will maintain all of the nutrients. Next is the citrus peel powder which will maintain the acidic level of the soil. To use it, you need to first soak this in water for 7 days and then dilute this and give it to your plant. But my mom is just giving the powder here. Also make sure to dig the soil before applying any kind of fertilizer to your plant. And after fertilizing your plant, you must give some water. After the water mixes with the soil, it will help your plant to absorb the fertilizer more faster. One thing you need to keep in mind that in this period make sure to avoid any kind of high nitrogen rich fertilizer. And those who use chemical fertilizers, make sure to give phosphorus and potassium rich fertilizer to your plants. But it is best to give organic fertilizer or manure. After 7 days, all the plants started to bloom. Look at this. Now I will tell you all the tips to bloom your Bhaganvalia plant. First thing is that Bhaganvalias need lots of sun. Second, the soil must be well drained soil. Also make sure to check your soil pH level. The pH level of your Bhaganvalia soil is 5.5 to 6.5. Also make sure to handle the root ball with extra care. Before also we had uploaded a video on how to fix your root ball of your plants and repot your plant. So if you wish to you can watch that video. Also your plants need minimum watering. Also, you need to give potassium and phosphorus rich fertilizer two weeks interval. I hope your garden will be as colorful as ours. If you like our videos, then subscribe to our channel and watch all the other videos. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.